Boom! We are back, ladies and gentlemen, Friday afternoon, ahead of a nice long weekend. We are going to enjoy it. We got Frank first in the chat today. What's going on, Frank? Paul Wright, Frank, Paul Wright, Frank, Paul Wright, Shredder, Shredder, Paul Wright, Frank, Shredder, Tim, Pudgy, Architect. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Pudgy's YouTube channel yet, make sure to go check it out. He's got like eight subscribers now that I'm on there. Needs a couple more. He does want to go live every now and then. Hit him up with 50, you know, and then he's able to go live, I believe. So let's get that going too. Shredder, Tim, Pudgy, Architect, Eight Fathers Manchild. What's going on, dude? Hemi Life, Crypto Rocketeer, Shredder. Everybody's in here. Let's see what the market's doing real quick before I go over to Crypto Rocketeer. Boom, baby. I broke through. Clovis broke through that dollar fifteen. Hopefully, it runs all the way up to a dollar fifty. I don't plan on closing it out this afternoon, in the next nine minutes. So, hopefully, get a nice little run there. You guys remember we were talking about it this morning. We've got that line of uh, uh I moved it down and then must have moved it back up. So, we were unable to break through on the hour. Tapped it here several times. It was looking pretty strong this morning. Finally did break through, sitting at $1.20 right now. The next line is up here in the $1.30, $1.40 area. So doing very well on this trade right now. Most likely going to let it run through Monday uh, into Tuesday. High likelihood Tuesday, it, you know, uh, I'm going to have to test this resistance here. I don't want it to pull back down from the $1.40. I either take it or, or see how it acts when it gets up there, if it does run all the way up there. Otherwise, we've got AMC still in the green, almost 5%. Shiba Inu coin sitting at 800 points per coin still, uh, basically dead flat on the day. GameStop still doing very nice, up 6.46%. The NASDAQ performing pretty well today. NASDAQ is up over the last eight hours, and seven hours really. It is sitting at 10, 796, up 1.5% on the day. GameStop, Bureau Therapeutics up 5%, not doing too bad there. 62 cents, not a lot of action though. Ethereum, Shiba, and Bitcoin all in the green for the moment. Bitcoin still sitting around twenty thousand five hundred dollars uh still low guys still low you know twenty thousand only five hundred dollars on bitcoin is is going to allow us to hit some new recent lows sundial up eight percent of the day doing very well especially here into the close sitting up eight point ten percent mullinado dollar thirty five ladies and gentlemen it is running there cei is uh down four percent sitting at 46 cents per share spy up 0.40 percent bbig up five four and a half percent right now bouncing back a little bit on the day there we've got highcroft mining sitting down two and a half percent a hundred or dollar 42 netflix sitting basically flat dollar 55 right now bouncing back into the close we've got red box sitting here at $11.99 making its way back into positive territory today clovis sitting up 30 percent bouncing off that dollar 20 sitting at a dollar 16 right now uh not sure if you guys don't mind we'll watch this one close see if it stays strong or if it does pull back a little bit after running up uh, if you guys want to watch something else, we can watch something else, but it's kind of cool there. P and I was Big Clay Little Weeble. Come on. I got to go Big Weeble. Ah, terrible. Pika Power. Thank you very much for the super chat. Pika says, tennis with my coworkers went amazing today. I won't be able to participate much in the chat this stream, but I'll be here listening from work. I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Friday and a good weekend. Pika Power. I want to wish you a happy Friday and a good weekend as well. Look, I have I have a lot of fun playing tennis. I really do. I hope you guys had some fun today as well. Uh, even if you lose, man, it's still fun, especially if you're having fun with friends, going out there and playing. I play tennis. I uh, used to play tennis with Danger, right? But I, I play tennis with... Nick F. Every once in a while, we have not played yet this year, but I do really enjoy it. So I'm glad you had a good time playing tennis today, and hopefully everybody else had a good time as well. It is about to be a nice, beautiful, long, really good weather weekend as well. So hopefully you guys are all able to enjoy it and, and hang out with family and friends too. And happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. Hey Clay, happy Friday. It's been a while since I've been able to be on a live. That one dude, glad to have you on a live though, man. For real. Uh, the more the merrier. Man, everything is moving up. We're, we're getting a little bit of a pullback here. In, no, no, going back up now. Uh, but look at nice action in AMC and in GameStop over here. We can see GameStop is is running up into the close too so i love the positivity going into this nice long weekend now we want we want gains we want gains we want gains uh speaking of we winning gains dude i was watching this youtube video right before i went live here these dudes over in the uk man they had a 200 kilogram dumbbell and they were seeing who could lift it one-handed Dude, you know how strong you got to be to lift 200 kilograms one-handed? So, 
I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do. I don't have a dumbbell that I can put that much weight on, but I do have barbells. So I'll load the barbell up and, and see if I can get away with, with a, a decent lift there one-handed. Anybody know their one-handed deadlift max? I mean, it doesn't have to be a dead, uh, it doesn't have to be a dumbbell, but anybody know what their max would be? Like, could you do 200 kilograms? 200, what, 200 kilograms is what, like 240, 250 pounds? That is heavy, man, to test your grip with. I love it, Shred. It's a beautiful day. Glad I got to enjoy it. Heck yeah, Pika. Heck yeah. Crypto Rocketeer, have a great weekend, Pika. Definitely. What did Crypto Rocketeer say earlier? No, don't retract it, man. I was going back up to read it, and you retracted it. Crypto Rocketeer, send it again, man. Come on now. Uh, Clearbro, I should be working. However, I'm here online watching, waiting for that lick and stick. John Jay, I know you are, man. You and everybody else that's in here right now, waiting on a little lick and stick action. Well, I just sat watching the bid mask on Weeble, and it's absolutely ridiculous. They're clearly spoofing. Watched it at 1250 and 1240, now 1230. I hate this darn market so much. You, you know what? Spoofing is a thing, but here's... I don't watch level twos that much. I don't. I really don't. I don't watch a lot of the the bid and ask and and the different levels on the level twos. But it is a it, it is not illegal to put orders in and then change your mind, right? So if you put an order in and all of a sudden you changed your mind and didn't want to didn't want to fill that order anymore, you can absolutely take it off. I have noticed this though. Okay, a lot of the time. If I do put an order in, I know it's routed through the dark pool because you don't even see you don't even see it show up in level two data. You don't see your trade show up until it hits the time and sales data where where the order has been filled. So it does hit the ticker tape, but you're not going to see it in level two quite often. And and I know it's going through a dark pool at that point, but at the same time, man, it's tough. It's tough because. Let's say you weren't able to retract your your order there. It would be very difficult to say, once you put it in, you can't modify it. Maybe something comes out and you really do want to change it. You got good intentions. But I know people do go out there and, and try to load it up, put a little wall in there, and then all of a sudden take that wall down. And I, don't, I mean, it's not right, but technically, I don't know if it's necessarily wrong. Hey, it's Pringleton. I'm saying, Pringleton, what's going on, man? GameStop going very nicely. 45,000 of FTDs today. We love the FTDs in here, don't we? Man, I'm telling you, GameStop and AMC are both performing very nicely into the close here. I would love to see uh, more days like this where it's all green candles, 15, 20 minutes in a row. It is looking beautiful. One hand max de deadlift, three dozen boxes of glazed donuts. But if the green candles keep coming, I'm going for five boxes. Feeling froggy. John J, man. Let's go. Let's get that mo ass and let's go. Five boxes of glazed donuts. Heck yeah, man. $300 per month, period format. Oh, Frank, I know I missed something, man. I don't even know what we're talking about. $300 a month on. Is that what you, that's your rent? Frank Frank pays the $300 a month in rent. Nice, dude. I don't know. I don't know. It's $300 a month. Yeah, they make it so obvious, though. As soon as the price goes down a cent, it vanishes and then returns. Man, uh, yeah, dude, it, it's very weird though, cause I have watched it on stocks before. I haven't, I haven't done a lot of AMC watching because I don't. I'm gonna be honest, right? Like I, I don't plan on trading AMC. I'm literally sitting on it. I watch it very little during the day. I was watching Clovis much more closely. I would watch uh, Farmy when I was getting ready to get out of it much more closely and things like that. And yeah, dude, uh, I I don't know how those orders show up in in the level two, and it's very low sometimes too. You would think like, dude, there's only two hundred shares that are sitting at at twelve dollars and and whatever, but five thousand shares just went through. How do these shares just keep getting eaten up and eaten up and eaten up? And I know a lot of them are going through dark pools too. But yeah, dude, it's very it is obvious when you're watching it and all of a sudden it ticks down a, a cent and then the entire order just disappears and then jumps back on. Uh, I don't know if if people are literally that like they're only one, looking for one cent gains. And, and they're knocking off orders as soon as it moves a direction that they don't want it to move, like these day traders that are out there doing that. Dear God, look at, look at GameStop right now. Um, you know, I don't know if that's what it, what's happening or not, or if it is specific spoofing. 
I can't even get my orders to show up in level two. They just go straight through the dark pool, which is why I would assume that you are correct in, in the fact that it could be spoofing at that point because I couldn't even get my shares to show up in level two. GameStop, man, pulling back down after hours here. $132.33 after closing at $134.98 today. Up 7.5% on the day, down 2% after hours right now. We're going to have to see if this candle holds or not, what's going on with that. But it does seem like a, a dramatic last tick after, or first tick after the, the day closed there. You missed the first part. Frank, I know I missed the first part, man, because it made no sense. Talking about $300 a month, period, uh, format. I, I, I know I had to miss something. Gearing up for market bottom, rebuild investment tracker for a 22-position portfolio. Gotcha. So $300 per month. Period. Dude, I'm telling you, it, that you, what you mean is you're making $300 a month then, right? By, by doing whatever options trades, man, I like these green candles. Whatever options trades you're going to have going on there with your cash secure puts and uh, potentially selling some calls and things like that. Dude, 300 bucks a month. Yeah, dude. 300 bucks a month. You say, oh, dude, that's nothing. But imagine if you really do like cover all of your utilities just by implementing your, your investment strategy right there. All of a sudden, all of your utilities are covered. Dude. That, I mean, that, it's literally, that is life-changing, the fact that you don't pay utilities anymore. You can cover it. And then guess what? It's, you build your portfolio up a little more. Well, shoot, dude, now it's covering rent. All of your rent is covered because you're able to generate 1000 1100 1200 whatever you guys' rent is, dollars a month. And, and then, you know, you're covering rent and utilities. Maybe then you're just sitting on a portfolio where you're making, I, I don't know, $15,000 a year. In, in dividend and you're not even actively investing your money dude you get passive income to take away all of your bills and you're solid man so frank i love it dude 300 bucks a month is killing it mr first part got it now i uh, off time i cannot mention which is third grade teachers or else i'll be sent to chat banishment and regulated to watch the eight father and face that's not good for anyone johnson time you were on you were on time out dude don't get on time out now come on man glad to have you back though I didn't even see it. Oh, such a big drop. Pringleton, I have no idea why that dropped, but it's not even moving. So I think it might have just been an order sitting out there. It's on, it's on 181 shares, dude. It's only on 181 shares, man. I, I wouldn't be terribly concerned about that drop. It's probably just what uh, what the next fill was after the, the market closed. It's probably just where the next bid order came in at, and, and they filled that order. Because you know, like the the spread is is gonna be wider during after hours trading, so it's probably just the next fill that they could get. Only 181 shares, man. It doesn't it just looks big right now? But it, I wouldn't be terribly concerned about that little drop on GameStop because it was such a small, small order there. Uh, GME fall was on 100, yeah, 181 volume. Crypto Rocketeer, extremely small. Uh, m most likely just the the next fill that they had with a, a limit order sitting out there after hours. See, they come back up. Oh, dude, I can almost guarantee. I can almost guarantee that it comes back up, dude. It, it just whatever the next trade they fill in is most likely going to either erase that candle or or jump back up a little bit. I'm late. What did I miss? Good afternoon, Clay. Lucky's thoughts, man. Good afternoon to you. And you know, you didn't miss too much. You didn't miss too much. Watch the close. We had a pretty strong close, actually. A lot of green lines posted on AMC, green lines posted on uh, GameStop here, green lines posted on Clovis. Not too much in terms of cryptocurrency, but actually pretty strong close across the board in these stocks, man. Going into the weekend here, we had Redbox kind of steadied off into the close, but it was, was rolling up there a little bit, getting back into positive territory. Netflix had a nice little run. The, the NASDAQ had a nice little well, dip the last three minutes, but nice little run going into it there. And then Sundial went up too. Sundial had a nice little run going into the close, going from 31 and a half to 32 and a half cents. So overall, strong close, man. I don't think you missed too much though in terms of what's actually going on out there. But preparing for a nice long weekend, guys. Cheers. Boom. Some positive vibes to your neighbor. <laughs> Hope you think it's worked out or whatever I missed. Yeah, me too, Pika. Me too. I don't know what's going on either, but it's all right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, I was going to say something, but now I forget what I was going to say when I started. I went back and looked at those charts. Did somebody somebody say something and I missed it in the chat? 
Oh, I was gonna say, man, Pudgy. Yeah, I saw Pudgy's thing out on Twitter. And Pudgy only needs like another, what is it, 42 subscribers or something on YouTube so he can do a live stream. If you guys do want to check out his YouTube channel, man, you know, it's all about support, right? You guys can subscribe. You don't have to watch the videos if you don't want to watch the videos. But at least the dude will be able to go live. If you don't want to subscribe to his channel, hey, go like his tweet, man. Go like his tweet. And then somebody that, that sees what you like will be able to see it as well. Maybe support him. Get to 50 so we can start doing some live streams and have some fun with that. But I did subscribe to his channel. I think it was at like seven subscribers. When I, I might have been the eighth one. So you guys get in early on that one. Early access. Pudgy might not even be in here right now, but we're promoing his channel. I'm going to make a prediction. Should we go back to point zero 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 two? A nice jump next week. We all make money. John Jay, four zeros and a two? Dude, that's not bad. It's triple, a double, a little over double your money right there. That's not bad. I don't know if it's going to do that next week or not. I, I, I don't know if we get a bounce. I really don't. If we do, I don't know if it's going to bounce like that high. If we go back up there, I would imagine that uh, Bitcoin is going to go back up close to 30000 I still think it's a little bit bearish, but, dude, I hope people do, man. Especially if they were able to average down as the price is falling. Uh, I hope it's for, for real. Two minutes ball. JB wins something. Incoming Moas. Nice. Two minutes. we got to keep our eyes. Oh, no. It's the opposite. It's the, it's the no ass. We've got the no short squeeze. It's not the mo ass. It's the no ass. We're going down in price. Ah, uh, JB was right, but he missed it on the two minutes and he missed it to the upside. It was definitely to the downside. Dude, this is creeping closer to regular hours trading though. Like every day it gets closer and closer. One of these days it's going to be during regular hours. Boom, 358. We shoot up and rock it off, man. And I'm going to be on it. I'm going to be on it when that happens. I'm really happy, actually, because I'm 99.99% certain uh, they were going all out to keep us below 1250 and failed miserably. There was a drop from 1260 to 1255, then another to 1252 in a millisecond. Oh, yeah, dude, they did fail miserably, man. We closed at 1252 there. Not, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be terrible if we settled at, like, 1249? I gotta eat, dude. I didn't even eat lunch today. I gotta eat something, man. I, I can. My stomach is growling. No, no, Moaz happens every day now. Oh, but only a few people get to participate. Yes, they only only a few people get to participate in the Moaz. But it is all right. One day we will all get to participate in the Moaz. Nick F. Good afternoon to you, Nick F. What's going on, man? Gonna have a lot of different content on my channel. Heck yeah, Pudgy. Good deal. And like I say, man, if you guys want to support Pudgy, go check out his YouTube channel. If you don't want to watch his videos, it is still all right. You're good to go, man. Click the subscribe button. Doesn't hurt anybody to do that. You don't have to watch it if you don't want to watch it, man. But at least the dude can go out there and, uh, and go live if he wants to. If any of you guys got YouTube channels, heck yeah, man. I mean, what's the, if your own brother won't subscribe to your YouTube channel, well, then your own brother is not a good guy. We're all brothers here, right? Bros, man. That's what it's all about. We support each other. We build each other up. Doesn't mean you have to sit here every day. Doesn't mean you have to watch. Doesn't mean you have to do all that stuff. But it's all about support, man. TBF. TBH? Where the heck is the H compared to the F? I don't know, man. TBF? To be frank, like, what is this? Like, some sort of uh, English, to be frank? I still think, despite being at the wrong time and wrong direction, Jay beat most of Twitter with that prediction. Pringleton, I believe you are correct. It was the exact opposite, and he was only a two minutes late there, but he did predict a massive move, and we got a massive move. So, JB, dude, I think you need to go out on your horse there and, and start telling telling people that the Moass is coming, the Moass is coming, and and signal, what, two lanterns, one lantern? What do we got, man? Were they coming by C? I don't know where they're coming by, but the Moass is coming. JB, to be fair, gotcha. I thought this dude was coming in with, with something that I didn't know about, but... Yeah, man, to be fair, I'm being fair with JB as well. JB was on it. It's clay, bro. Crypto officially dead. I'm feeling depressed. Help me. I know you can. My first bear year, only in, one year in. Bull predictions, two years or more or months. PS5, let me tell you this, dude. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know if the bear market ends sometime this year, in the next couple of months. I really don't know if it lasts two years. Here's what I do know. I truly believe. Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, massive cryptos out there, even Shiba Inu coin. I, I do believe that Shiba Inu coin sticks around. How far down it goes, I do not know, right? I don't know these exact price predictions. But here's what I know, man. 
I looked back. I looked back it, it, during the run in to, in 2017 when Bitcoin ran to 19,000. Ethereum was sitting like $1,400, and these prices, man, were were 100x, 200x, 300x what they had been just a couple of years prior. And I'm like, dude, if I could have gone back, I would have bought, uh, knowing that the price was gonna go up. I would have bought. And then you know what happened? Dude, we got a second chance, third chance, fourth chance. We had a two-year buying spree from 2018 to 2020 when Ethereum, after being at $1,400, was sitting at $80, man. Bitcoin was down to $3,000 at one point. These these coins that are trading three, four hundred, five hundred dollars $500 now are, were trading at, at $10, $15 per coin. And we were given that opportunity for a two-year period. And, you know, I didn't load up. So you can kick yourself this time if we stagnate for the next two years, three years, whatever it takes. We can kick ourselves again in 2025, or we can come out the other side responsibly buying along the way. Now, responsibly doesn't mean go out and take an equity line out on your house and you know not be able to afford to pay it back because you went in and you bought crypto because you thought that Bitcoin at 10,000 was the bottom and then Bitcoin goes to 3,000 or something responsibly stacking up what you are willing to hold into the future. Here's what I believe. I believe we do hit all-time highs again. I don't know when, but I do believe we hit all-time highs again. And and I believe we break those all-time highs. Will we see another bear market? Yeah, dude. We will see another bear market. Is it eight years down the road? Nine years down the road? Five years down the road? I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be. But just like the stock market in its cyclical nature... I believe we see the the cryptocurrency market develop a cyclical nature. We go up, we go down. This time, I will be riding it up, man. I will absolutely be riding it up uh, with more than I rode it up the last time. Let's put it that way. Opportunity is knocking. I will answer. I hope you do as well. I know it sucks to be down. I know it, especially if you're just now getting in and you're getting into the beginning of a bear market. Uh, it's terrible, man. It's terrible. But here's what I have to say. You make it through this darn bear market, dude, you are going to be very happy on the other side. And take advantage of it, too. It's not a thing that you got to hold forever. You don't have to come in here and, and you know hold your Ethereum forever and, and so on and watch it ride up to, to $17,000 a coin and then all the way back down to $1,700 a coin during the next bear market. You don't have to do that. You can sell when you want to sell, when you're comfortable. Let's see, Vicky Shift Andrew tried many times to say hi on Trey's stream, but the chat is unbelievably quick. Darn it, man! Ch chat's even quicker than mine. <sighs> Sucks, man. I, I want the fastest chat around. Bad time for crypto at the bottom. Oh, and everything we are buying is at all time highs. Yeah, it's it's true, roulette wheel, but I know you said Danger! Steve Danger! What is going on, man? First in the chat, baby! How you doing, Steve? Uh, have you seen the unicorn, though? That's special. Unicorn. We, we only break out the unicorn on good times, man. I bought a few bars of gold today. BR Supreme Constitution. I like it. Gold bars, the way to go, man. Mr. Moash, Chris. Chris! No, man. Hopping in late. Had to work. Uh, had to work almost a full day. What happened today? A red day for everything. No, no, no. Chris, we actually had a good day today, man. AMC closed the day 6.15% higher. A GameStop closed the day at $134.98, 7.5% higher. Shiba Inu coin, slightly higher on the day. Clovis, man, up 32% today. Very nice there. NASDAQ ended a percent and a half higher. Bjorn Therapeutics ended, what is this, 3.5% higher. Sundial is up today. Imagine Tilray is up. I don't know if you're still on it or not, but I do imagine Tilray is up with Sundial being up like that. Molinado up 5.5%. CEI was down a little bit today, 4.5%. BBIG up on the day. Highcroft down on the day. Netflix slightly up on the day. Redbox up on the day. So overall, man, very good day for, for some of the stocks that we're holding out there. Let's see here. Sorry, JB's right. JB, yeah, man, JB's right, dude. We all mow ass? We're, we're, gosh, Chris, we wish you were here, dude. We, this is the last live stream because we mow ass today, and now we're just all going to go buy a, a trailer park on an island somewhere. I mean, I guess I could live stream from the island, but you guys are all going to be there anyway. So it's kind of counterintuitive to do that if you're already are, already all there. We'll just have a, like a party on the beach. Uh, I could MC for a while. Anything on ApeCoin. You know what, Sean? I have not heard anything on ApeCoin in a while, man. 
Uh, I have not heard anything in a while. The last I heard, and I don't know what they're doing with it, is that they wanted to vote on either creating their own own blockchain or going layer two blockchain. But I don't know what they what they ended up voting on that. Everything is going down, so perfect time to buy. Boom! Chris is loading up. I like it, man. Like a one ounce gold bars too. Shoot, man. What size size gold bars did BR buy there? Dude, he bought some kilos, man. Freaking one ounce gold bars. And the dude bought kilos of gold. He didn't buy one ounce. He bought a darn kilo of gold. When are we bottoming out in this bear market, my guy? Steve Danger. Good question. Um, I would say, are you looking for a date, a specific date on when we bought them? Or are you looking for a specific price on when we bought them? Because I can give you none. But the Magic 8 Ball can definitely provide realistic answers when it comes to our future so ask away my friend and the eight ball shall answer hey how long does bitcoin usually consolidate at the bottom hey lucky's thoughts if you meant the last time like just this last time we spent about a month before we fell through the last and really only bear market massive bear market that we had was after reaching a high at the end of 2017 december of 2017 was wild man bitcoin was going crazy ethereum was going crazy altcoins were going insane everybody was making money in crypto and then 2018 hits we drop we drop heavy honestly bitcoin consolidated down there from 2018 through 2020 once stimulus and, and all of those measures started to pour in and the market started to recover I don't know if the absolute bottom in crypto was in March of 2020 or when it was, but you know the the stock market bottomed in March of 2020 there, and and after it started to rise again is when you started to get the rise in Bitcoin. So that was roughly a two year period where prices kind of sucked for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Now I say kind of because they were still very volatile. Bitcoin was going from 3,000 to 10,000 to 5,000 to 8,000 to 5,000 to 10,000 to 4,000 to 9,000. So if you were trading, you were still able to make a lot of money trading, doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling your money if you're able to hit those trades right. But you know, then the breakout occurred. And, and it all depends on your investment strategy, right? If you want to go in and, and just continue loading up, as the prices are are essentially low, maybe we go down to three thousand in Bitcoin again, and maybe we fluctuate between three thousand and ten thousand. Dude, if you're able to triple your money as the prices are low, that is fantastic. But here's what is also going to happen too: people are going to get used to those prices, and ten thousand on Bitcoin is going to look expensive, and people are going to be willing to sell when Bitcoin hits ten thousand. And here's the thing that that is going to occur there. You may get in that trading mentality and you go out there, you buy at 3,000, awesome. You sell at 10,000, it goes up to 11,000, 12,000, looks way too expensive. You're not buying back in until you see 3,000 again. And all of a sudden, that's the beginning of the, bear, the beginning of the bull market. And next thing you know, dude, Bitcoin's sitting at 70, 80, 90, 100,000. And you were still waiting for it to drop back down to 3,000 because you got out at 10,000 and it seemed expensive. So we will have a drastic mentality shift if we sit in this bear market for, dude, if we sit in this bear market for a while, you know, I can already tell you that people are going to think that 2,000 points per coin is expensive on Shiba. If Bitcoin goes back up to 40, people are going to think it's expensive. Um, but if we sit down here for a year, two years, three years, then people are going to think these prices are expensive if Bitcoin's hitting eight, $9,000 and... You know, it's jumping from two to three thousand dollars. So it's all in what you guys want and your goals. If you love to day trade, swing trade, that kind of get in, get out mentality, make it happen. If you want to stack up when these prices are extremely low, you want to develop a, a ten million dollar portfolio five to ten years down the road, and then you just go retire to Portugal or some country that has no cryptocurrency taxes. That's another option too. So uh how long? I do not know, but I know we got opportunity ahead of us. And do you think it is soon, or are we just getting... It, honestly, Steve Danger, I think we're just getting started. I am. I'm developing a, a bit of a bearish mentality over the short to medium term. 
and and why not just because the prices are coming down like prices coming down yes do affect sentiment and do affect the people that are out there buying crypto coins but i'm already starting i'm already starting to see people say that bitcoin and ethereum going to zero uh you know all altcoins are going to zero regulations gonna kill crypto it's going to zero already seeing a lot of negativity that they're going to be feeding us for a while inflation is not under control interest rates are, are most likely going to rise out of control and and there's going to be a lot of political tension as well so i do see a lot of negativity man and i don't see it i i guess resolving overnight and that's the same thing that i was telling my dad this morning too let me know when you buy, man. Let me know. Let me know when you get when you're getting in. I need to get in too. And I said, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that this isn't gonna be something where we just see Bitcoin is at six thousand. Now we buy and we load. I, I think we're gonna be able to buy over a period of of a long time, man. You know, if you wanna load up, you're going to have time to load up you might have two years dude you might have three years to load up with bitcoin fluctuating between three and eight and fifteen and thousand dollars and so on where you can continue to stack and that is beneficial if you can mentally make it through that and you are able to invest what you're willing to invest for the next three years dude imagine when 2025, 2026 start to roll around and Bitcoin's creeping back up 15, 16, 18, 20, 30, 40, 50, 90,000 dollars, and you were a you were actually able to stack up over that time, just using Bitcoin as an example, you were able to stack up 10 Bitcoin, dude. What? You're sitting on 900 grand. Dude, if you're looking to Shiba, if Shiba Inu coins your bread and butter, man, and you're able to stack up, like, I don't know. 70 billion shiba inu coin or 100 billion shiba inu coin and it's creeping up to three zeros dude you're gonna be sitting on on like five million dollars like what yeah we're gonna have time I, I really do think we'll have time we had a time machine roulette wheel we got the time machine man we're in it right now it is 2022 but we are seeing 2020 prices on the horizon it's supposed to myself but wait there will be more shredder there better be more there's always more skill joy smoking some good green don't smoke money that's terrible it's probably dirty if that's something you're interested in let's get started skill joy yeah i don't know why you're uh smoking money right now does that even do anything it's probably disgustingly dirty Mom ever tell you not to put money in your mouth? <laughs> uh, if she didn't, I'm going to tell you. Skill Joy, do not put money in your mouth. I don't know what other good green is out there. What's good, Trapper? Antics, Trapper, what's going on, guys? Antics, the legend is nuts. Retiring in Columbia, will be surrounded by top-notch escorts by dozens per day. <laughs> Antics, man, listen. I say go for it. I say go for it. If that's what you want to do, man, make it happen. Just be careful, okay? Just be careful. Likey the smashy. Listen to Pika and likey that smashy right now. Oh, Portugal never puts tax on crypto. Pedro, me too. They probably will at some point, but I will tell you this. There will be a country that does not put a tax on crypto. There will be a country that is very welcoming to crypto millionaires and crypto billionaires why do i say that they know that if they bring you in you will spend your money there you will absolutely spend your money there and they're going to tax you on sales tax dude they'll tax you on property tax i mean imagine imagine you can save 35 percent income tax or even if it's just 10 percent long-term capital gain imagine if you could save that dude i'm loving the move on clovis right now imagine you can save that and, and and therefore you get you buy a property dude you buy a, a i don't know what the house would cost let's just say it's some south american country right where you can get a steal you can get a beach house for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars dude they're gonna love you to come down there and buy an eight hundred and fifty thousand dollar beach house because they're they're gonna save you five million dollars in crypto taxes there will always be a country that is more than welcoming to you plus dude you can get a uh visa or uh passport you can get a passport for like two hundred fifty thousand dollars in some of these countries very easily you don't really think tens of millions are going to become millionaires just like that not doubting just wondering how that works uh tanned mama no i don't think that tens of millions of people are going to be crypto millionaires 
Here's why. I do think that, you know, if for some reason tens of millions of people were able to, like, mentally go through a bear market and come out the other side, yes. But I am telling you right now, no. There will, it, it, it's, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of mental capacity to be able to make it through when everybody is telling you that you are wrong. Everybody is telling you that your money is going to be worthless. Everybody is telling you that this bear market is never going to end. That's why the fear and greed indexes exist. You, you know, there is a lot of fear in the market. And because of that, people give up. They sell off. They, you know, they leave. And it's very unfortunate. But I, I can guarantee you out of the 128 people in here, some of you will give up, man. I, I know that some of you will give up. And I don't want you to. But just statistically speaking, I imagine that, that a good portion of you guys will give up along the way. Now, I hope that I can do my best to build up confidence in you guys, in your own decisions, not in my decisions to outlast this, this bear market here, but in your decisions. I want you to understand what you're buying. If you got questions, that's why we ask understand whether it's better to sell now and try to buy back in later or so on. Because for me, I'm sitting in the majority of my stuff's in stable coin. It's in USDC right now. I'm, whole, I'm making 9% during the bear market on USDC on Voyager. If you guys want to hold USDC on Voyager, you got a link in the description. You're getting $50 in Bitcoin for signing up down there. Make sure to check it out. But I'm sitting in stable coins right now. I'm not yet, I'm not yet loading the boat. I'm not yet buying. People will give up though, dude. They will give up. And here's what else I know. They might not. They they ride it down. They're able to load up. As soon as you hit a double, as soon as you double your money, people are going to sell. Maybe they make $10,000, dude. $10,000 is a lot of money. They're going to sell. And then maybe maybe they get Bitcoin at 3000 and it shoots up to 13000 Boom. They sell, dude. You're walking away with 50 grand. I am definitely selling right now. I'm going to take that money and move on. There will be very few people who do make it back up to the top. And that is fine. You don't need, my gosh, you don't need a million dollars. You don't need $500 million. You don't need $10 million portfolios and things like that. Um, you need whatever you're comfortable with. You know, Whatever you feel is, is right for you. Please do that. But that's what I want you to do. Whatever's right for you. And in 10,000 people or 10 million people become millionaires? Definitely not, man. Definitely not. But if 10 million people did hold through the bear market and came out the other side waiting for an all-time high, yeah, I do believe 10 million people would become millionaires at that point. I just don't think they will. Yeah, your mouth, Beleza. Yes, mental capacity is all I have. I bought it, locked it, and forgot it about the key. Yes, until it hits that magic million-dollar number. Jameson, boom, baby. And here's the thing, too, right? And and this, I don't, you know, I don't want to go too much into personalities and things like that. But and, and this is not to to shame anybody that has a a more, I I guess submissive personality or anything. But you will fall victim if you're, you know, you got alphas, you got betas, you got sigmas, and so on. If if you do feel that way, like you need to, I guess, be a little bit more submissive. If you give in to all of the fear that the media is going to be spreading on you, if your friends are negative around you, uh, you know, Steve Danger and Nick F, man, they come in here. If every single day they were like, Clay, bro, you are so dumb, dude. You are so dumb. Give up now. It's never going to happen. Well, I would personally ignore them because I would say, wow, you guys are whack. But that's me, right? You guys could tell me I'm wrong all day long. And if I think that I'm right, or if I feel that this is right for me, uh, yeah, I really don't care what you say. But I know other people that would be like, dang, man, you know, if they're saying it's wrong, it's something's got to be wrong. Dude, literally, I could be in a room full of a million people, and they could all tell me I'm wrong, and I, I would think that they're all wrong. <laughs> you know, like people would be like, dude, if everybody else says it's this, you're probably the crazy one. Well, no, dude, I'm the sane one, and, and these 10 million people are crazy. That's just what it is for me. So knowing that, you really need to surround yourself with the right people. And that's not delusional people either. Like, don't listen to me if I just tell you right now that you're going to be a billionaire no matter what if you invest a dollar into this stock or into this crypto and so on. But surround yourself with the right people, especially if you're easily influenced. 
and, and people that are going to help you make the decision for you. Not just, this is my decision, you should follow it too. Uh, let's see, ship them a little bunch of cord tied to something, that way it won't stall and it'll make it easier for you to cut. Long grass, is that what we're talking about? Hold the shoot up on the little bunch of cord. So I, yeah, I think we we're talking about long grass though. I missed that, but it still makes sense to me. Clever is the market up now. I see the corner, or the right corner one. Uh, Shiba Inu coin actually doing pretty well right now, going back up to 818. Don't get too excited about this because this is a very, very zoomed in graph. This is only going from 810 to 818. It's only up, I don't even know, it's not even up 1% right now. So it's only going up from 810 to 818 right now. Uh, it should really look like that on Shiba Inu coin, but we are very far, very well zoomed in right now. Um, this is actually testing the, starting to test that level of resistance there. This is incredible. I, I want to show you guys this chart in a second here, but let's look at Bitcoin really quick. Bitcoin bouncing back up. It's only bouncing up about $100 though. $200 from this low right here over the last couple of minutes, about $100 from 20500 to 20600 so market bouncing a little bit right now, but if you put it in perspective, if we look at a daily chart here in the bottom left, or a daily chart on Bitcoin or Shiba Inu coin in the top right here, we can still see that the market's not moving up. This is still overwhelmingly to the downside. And same thing here on Shiba Inu coin, overwhelmingly to the downside, just maybe stalling out a little bit. Bitcoin may be stalling out and forming a little bit of a bottom down here at $20,000. So I wouldn't get excited about this, you know, rebounding just yet. Uh, we may, hey, we may consolidate in the $20,000 area and well, 800 points on, on Shiba and 20,000 on Bitcoin, just the same as we did here for a whole month. We may trade in this range between 19.5 and 21.5 or 22, we may trade here for a month, man. Clovis though, looking at Clovis, this is incredible. So the the level of support here at the lowest little tick right here. If we were going the the most conservative route, I want to keep it in this area right here. I don't know why it's bumping like that, but in this like dollar forty area where it was bouncing down here. But if you just move it to like the lowest tick on this on this the lowest tick on the wick. No, oh, that's a sick rhyme. If we look there, we bounced through this level. It was very difficult to break 114, 114, 114. Very difficult to break it. It was a level of resistance. I said if it breaks it, we are most likely to see a jump to the next level of resistance. And, and look what we did here. Broke it towards the end of the day, after hours, broke through right at the end of the day there, breaking through 114. Came right up. And tested that next level of resistance. Now we're already back down to a dollar twenty-seven. It is back down a little bit from where it's at. After hours trading, not terribly exciting because it's typically subdued. You don't have a ton of volume. But I know some guys like to trade moving averages. Some guys like to trade uh, relative strength index, RSIs, oscillators. They use Fibonacci on retracements and stuff personally and you guys just you choose whatever you want i like support and resistance levels and and i often like how support and resistance levels once one is broken they really like to test the next and it's not it doesn't always happen but my go-to is support and resistance and this is a very good example of what happens when that resistance level is broken and it tries to hit the next one right away and in this case i'd consider a, a one cent hit pretty darn close to to touching that level because they're all ranges right it's not it's not just guaranteed uh like dead numbers or, or dead lines on the chart oh where's the chat at it's clear okay it looked big on no yeah dude it looked big but that's because i was zoomed in it was it was a little less exciting than what we were actually seeing there though I'm away to see my mother-in-law in the hospital. The collapsed lung. I do the bad word. We don't dare say. Dang, man. I hope she's doing okay, Keith. I hope she's doing okay. And uh, that that sucks, man. That sucks. For real, man. I hope your entire family gets a little peace in the entire situation. And 
And she comes out the other side all uh, better than ever, man. No, like no long term effects or anything. Sam the man, way to be observant. Attention to detail. Sam the man is very attentive to detail. Clibro, you rock, bro. All the best from Miami. The good gorilla. All the best from Ohio, dude. You staying cool down there? It's gotta be hot. If it's 80 degrees and sunny up here, it has gotta be beautiful down in Miami. I'm late, but hello, ball. Jonathan Lawson, what's going on? Keith, sorry to hear that. Send positive thoughts. Absolutely, man. Y'all do not ignore the little up spikes. Take profits. Yeah, tanned mama. If if people are of the trading mentality, definitely. You know what you know what I mean. There's a a lot of different. I'm not a day trader. Okay, I let's put it that way. I don't really like day trading. I think it's too much. I think it's stressful. You can make a lot of money doing it if you're good. You got to be extremely disciplined. Yeah, I have like zero emotion whatsoever. Follow your rules and so on. So. I'm not a huge day trader, but anybody that is can make a lot of money. I prefer either longer term swing trades. I'm actually having a little fun with this Clovis right now, but I prefer either longer term swing trades or investments. So am I going to take a profit on a little tick up? No, I would have taken a profit on Clovis at like 99 cents if I was, if I was day trading it or something just to get in and get out. But uh, yeah, you know, whatever people have many different philosophies when it comes to trading and whatever works best for you. If you like, if you like hitting those little tick ups, dude, do it all day, man. What rev is ridiculous. And also bankruptcy and flying for three days. Like what the heck? Check no, nah, yeah. Crypto rocketeer. I know. I, I know. I, I have no idea why Revlon. And then the other one is that electric. This one. This is the other one. Well, look at this one since I, I'm going to forget the name of this one. Dude, this one talks about bankruptcy yesterday. They go from 12 cents shooting up to 57 cents yesterday. And then they came all the way back down to 29 cents. So anybody chasing this at 57 cents lost 50% of their money yesterday. And then today, it's up again, back up to 50 cents and back down, closing at 36.50 up after hours to 38 cents right now um on bankruptcy news man on bankruptcy news and if you're looking at revlon on bankruptcy news going from they announced it a couple days ago i think here actually a dollar eight shooting up on the bankruptcy news to three dollars and 17 cents dropping all the way back down to a buck 80 well, well, there you go. Lose 50% of your money again, buying in. But wow, the volatility continues on, man. And all of a sudden, we're touching $4.75 today on Revlon on bankruptcy news. Very similar situation. I don't even know if Hertz still trades. But... Let's see where these guys were in 2020. Okay. They must have gone through Chapter 11 and back out. 2020, Hertz was going wild when they filed for bankruptcy. So I don't understand the fascination with buying into a bankruptcy, but these people are, are wild, man, that are buying into bankruptcies like that. And these guys, they, they must have gone through Chapter 11 and and relisted here but yeah dude you're seeing stop man i almost started doing stuff on my watch oh but yeah revlon and that electric last mile whatever it is both of them filing bankruptcy and moving up much higher on it i don't use the market anymore uh i don't know if anybody uses the market anymore because the market's getting wild a rev is because of a rumor of a buyout Hey, Space Ape, dude, hopefully they get bought out before they file bankruptcy then because they're already up like 400%. I don't know I don't know of anybody that would offer a buyout 400% higher than the stock price. That's a little drastic to me. Uh, Peter says, oh, Wondef is pumping. You guys were talking about Wondef yesterday, weren't you? Yeah, I wonder if I, I wonder if I, well, it's not trading after hours right now, but to moving nicely, man, from 29 cents up to 45 cents today. Very nice action in WNDF going from 29 cents. Here's the thing though, man, you know, you got to look at the long-term chart too, and it's had a very difficult go of it. This kind of stuff, 
it to me might not be an investment. I don't know anything about this company. Bitcoin, right? Well, you guys were saying this is on Kevin O'Leary. Am I correct? I don't know why I can't see anything. I'm pretty sure you guys were talking about this being Kevin O'Leary talking about this. This could simply be be because Kevin O'Leary is bringing some recognition to the stock. But as far as them losing money, the entire time that Bitcoin is losing money, uh, you know, if the crypto market continues to come down, this is probably just a little hype on on Kevin O'Leary talking about it. So I, I would watch out for that, but regardless man if you guys are in it hopefully you make a ton of money too much channel so i can subscribe nice man frank's vs i make more money than apex alpha than ever you gotta be the alpha man or sigma i prefer sigma i don't care to lead any group do whatever i want uh, i'm glad i could trade after hours yeah me too shredder me too if you guys want to trade after hours you got a link in the description below for weeble and you're actually gonna get six free stocks if you sign up before the end of june a good thing I stopped wearing makeup. Heck yeah, it's warm outside, man. You don't want to be wearing makeup when it's hot out. Hey, do you think shit could reach one dollar next three years? No. Um, I do not think that Shiba Inu coin is gonna hit a dollar in the next three years. I I I think that they would have to burn like ninety nine point nine percent of their supply if they were gonna hit a dollar in the next three years. And it would have to be on a, a very strong bull market run. That's going to give them like a, I don't know, 55 to $100 billion valuation in that area. Um, if I think that they're going to hit a dollar on the current supply, the only way they hit that, I, I don't care how much time they have, the only way they hit a dollar on the current supply, it's not impossible, but... This country would literally have to destroy the United States dollar. Um, it's not impossible, but we would have to see you know the currency just spiral out of control and, and be in a similar situation to Venezuela, man. It, it's it's very very unlikely to to see that happen. So I would say no. I don't see Shiba Inu coin hitting a dollar in the next three years. Uh, a penny would be much more plausible than a dollar. That would give us, uh, a, with no burns, a $600 billion valuation. That would need a huge cryptocurrency market, huge growth in Shiba Inu coin, and hopefully some burns as well. But I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen in the next three years. Let's see. Yeah, go for a nice walk or run. Really, would, dude. Yeah, it's really hot out in, in muggy out today. 80 degrees and sunny though. The sun is beating down. Shut it. It's Tim Hogan. I'm not really creative. Just informative. Heck yeah, Tim Hogan. Yes, Kevin O'Leary invested five million dollars in the company. Yeah, uh, one of has 45 million in revenues. Uh, so, so yeah, Peter, man. I think that I know they probably got a lot of expenses too. And I, I for some reason, Weeble wasn't pulling anything up on it. But if they're Bitcoin miners or cryptocurrency miners, I still think that they could have some trouble if if the overall crypto market continues to run into trouble. Would be my only pullback on that one right now is that I'm I'm short term bearish on the crypto market. Howdy Clay, howdy Clay bro fam, glad to catch your live stream today. Bitcoin hits the lowest price since December twenty. Wow, what are your thoughts? Bitcoin to zero? No, buck stop. I don't think Bitcoin's going to zero. I am still bearish on Bitcoin short term right now. I do think that Bitcoin has further room to the downside to run, along with the overall crypto market. I know we are drastically lower than where we have been. Overall crypto market is less than a trillion dollar market cap right now. That's a that's a very low valuation from where we've been in the past. And I do think that it can go lower. So I think we're being provided with a really once in a lifetime opportunity to go to, to maintain the future of crypto, but go back in time to ridiculously low prices. And and if we don't take advantage of it, it's our own fault. If we do take advantage of it, we might have to wait out the bear market, dude. We might be sitting here annoying ourselves for the next two years, but we will come out the other side. And dude, if there's one thing I've seen, is that everybody, that, everybody willing to hold AMC for well over a year and a half now, I know you guys are willing to hold cryptocurrencies too. So 
a, a year and a half bear market really doesn't even scare me at this point, guys. I mean, we've been in this game for a long time now, and, and I think we're going to come out the other side just fine. Sam to man number two for Pika. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What is Pika getting here? Pika is getting a licking stick. Pika, if you're listening right now, you don't even have to look. Mm, I'm telling you, licking stick, you tilt the head back a little bit, you lick, and you stick. Thank you very much, Sam Man. Really appreciate that super sticker. Paul Wright Lawn says, No clay on Monday. Don't cry. I'll be live at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on the YouTube channel named Paul Wright Lawns, also on Twitter. You never know who might show up in the chat. Thank you, Clay. Paul Wright, you're the man. Yeah, guys, look, here's the deal. Why not? Subscribe to Paul right now. Check him out. I am not going to be live on Monday. The markets are closed, but your boy Paul is going to be live. So make sure to check that out. Hang out with him on Monday morning. Have some fun. And thank you. You very much, Paul, for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, I don't know how many subscribers Paul has right now, but hopefully, you guys can get him over the next hump and he can be good to go there. Paul, right? Shout out to you, man. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sam. Uh, but can you not send me a banana? My dad watches these. It's a little awkward. Yeah, send them to Trapper. I don't care if Trapper's dad's watching. Well, we don't we don't care about Trevor's dad. Here's the thing, though. Pika, my dad watches. Dude, he's probably listening right now. He's like, oh, that's how you eat a banana, huh? Okay, okay. That is how you eat a banana. <laughs> I, know. I know he is, dude. And my mom's probably like, shout out, mom. Love you. Uh, there, I'll be there, Paul. Heck yeah, Shredder. Can I get a shout out to my mom-in-law, Wendy? I'm in her room right now. Wendy, seriously, I know you got to be down right now, but listen, you will get back up. There's nothing that's going to keep you down, man. Keith is an awesome kid. You guys got an awesome family over there showing support. You got 118 people in here right now that are wishing you get better and you get better fast. So shout out to you, Wendy. Hopefully you're having a, an okay day today. I know it's got to be tough. I know you got to be down, but look, you, you got to look on the bright side. You're going to make it out of this. You're going to be good. And really, you do have a great family. I mean, think about it. Your support system over there is awesome. Keith is great. And I know you're going to be doing okay. So, Wendy, shout out to you. you got 106 people in here now that, that are wishing you the best. Don't understand the market was what I was supposed to say. Crypto Rocketeer, nobody understands the market, man. It's okay. We're just here to make some money. We just put it in and, and wait. That's what she, Never mind. Some people got to work, Paul. Some people do have to work on Monday. Later, Gators. Have a great weekend. Ask the 8-Ball before I go. Will Shiba jump big, real big, this week? Okay, Magic 8-Ball. John Jay wants to know, is he going to have a good weekend? Is Shiba going to jump big this week? Let us know right now, Magic 8-Ball. It says, well, John Jay, you're going to have to come back in next week and ask. Because, ah, oh, you can't see it. It says, I better not tell you now. I don't know, dude. I, I don't know where the eight ball comes up with these answers. But the eight ball better not tell you right now. You're going to have to ask again later, my friend. I don't know why, but you're going to have to ask again later. Sam is in the black cat. Me, yeah. That's a good one, too. People might like the black cat. How do you feel about the future of Luna One and the metaverse? Next level. So I have not looked in too much into Luna One and the team that's building that out there. Future of metaverses in general, I am optimistic. I am bullish on those. Luna One specifically, I honestly, man, I don't know enough about it to really make the determination as to whether or not, you know, you know I'm behind it or anything like that. Yes, uh, but no cat can do the lick and stick for trap and peek. Yeah, no cat's doing a lick and stick for sure. Get well soon, Wendy. Positive thoughts and vibes. Absolutely. The Honey Kronos. Yeah, I do hold some Kronos opinions. I've had I've had Kronos in in my Coinbase or no, not Coinbase in my Crypto.com wallet for uh, dude. It's been a while. It's been a couple years that I've held Kronos. So uh, yeah, I I don't hold a ton of it though. I don't hold a ton of it. I uh, wrote it up to a dollar or whatever it hit, and then right back down. I think I probably and I probably bought it and forgot about it when it was like five or six cents. So. Still in the green on it, but it's been in there for a very long time. Paul, thank you for the super sticker. Paul says, "Meow, meow, meow." 
Thank you very much, Paul, for the super sticker. Really appreciate you guys having a good end to the week here. I like it. It's Pudgy. That would be so cute. What did Pudgy say? Don't know if I already had my daughter ready for a meow for the first live stream. Nice, Pudgy. Nice. He's getting ready. Pudgy, I got you. Heck yeah, Pika. I got Luna 1. Uh, the only stack I'm up on. Hey, Tanned Mama. Very good. Or er, Mama. Mamba, not mama. Tanned mama is a different thing. Tanned mamba is a, is a different thing than tanned mama. Tanned mamba, good deal, man. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's got to be a couple people in here with Luna One because I, I get several people to ask about it. Uh, will Terra Luna hit a uh, Terra Luna Classic hit a dollar in a year? Look, I don't know. Even if, uh, okay, so if for Terra Luna Classic to hit a dollar, I think a couple things would have to happen. I do think that we would need to be hitting new all-time highs in the overall crypto market. A dollar price tag on Terra Luna Classic is a, no, not a dollar. It's not going to hit a dollar. I was thinking a cent. If we don't burn the supply, a dollar is $6.5 trillion market cap that's not going to happen in the next year unless they burn a ridiculous amount like 90 to 99 percent of the supply um can it hit a penny in the next year yeah i think it can hit a penny in the next year if the overall crypto market rebounds because that's a 6.5 billion dollar market cap 65 billion dollar market cap sorry and that is right where it was before it spiraled out of control so I do think that that is a possibility. People are still supporting Terra Luna Classic. They are buying it. And I, I do think that that is a possibility. Not an easy one, but I think we need to see the entire market recover firsthand. Paul says it's time for the weekend. Everybody's going to be grilling out for Father's Day. This is how you properly eat a hot dog. I know you're going to get one on Sunday, guys. You take the hot dog and you dip it. You dip it in your favorite dip. Whatever your favorite dip is, you dip that hot dog in it. And this is called the dip and shove. You take that hot dog afterwards and you... Shove it. Simple as that. I know one of you guys is going to try that. Please don't choke. Please don't choke if you try that this weekend on Father's Day. Impress your dads. You can do the, the dip and shove. No, did I say shove? Did I say stick or shove? It's the dip and shove when you're doing a hot dog. So impress your dads this weekend. Do the dip and shove if you guys would like. But be careful and don't choke on anything. Uh, let's see. Will Terra Luna Classic ever hit a dollar? Oh, so it can hit a dollar, man, if the supply burns. If we don't see the supply being burnt, I'm going to say no. It's probably not going to hit a dollar. I, I don't think that it's going to have a $6.5 trillion market cap. But, you know, if the supply does go through some drastic burns, I think it's a possibility to see a dollar. Can't control my excitement watching AMC After Hours. It is so volatile, Crypto Rocketeer. I can't believe how much it's moving right now. Wild, isn't it? The word on the streets is that Lunk burns are happening. Yeah, Zico, Lunk burns are happening, man. MexC is actually burning the most Lunk coins out of anybody that's burning right now. No gag reflex. Pause, pause, pause. Opinions from the couch, man. Oh, you practice. Pull right laws. Mm. Paul, man, thank you very much for the popcorn super sticker. Really appreciate all of the super stickers out there, guys. You guys are awesome. Made some extra money trimming some bushes. Boom! So we get to watch Clay eat some weird foods. Paul, thank you very much, dude. Doing brisket and beer, a beer can chickens with baked beans and potato salad for Father's Day. Very nice, Tim. Very nice. I believe I will be eating uh, hot dogs and cheeseburgers on, on Father's Day. Can Shiba hit 0 .005 in the next two years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Peter. I think that it can hit it in the next two years. But, but I've got that stipulation on there. We've got to see the market recovery. Okay? If we don't see the, the next bull run happening in the next two years, no, I, I don't think that Shiba is going to go to uh, half a cent in the next two years, man. I, I really don't. We need to see the market recover. So if it is, if it's thriving, for sure. If not, it, we're going to need longer than that. And for Trap, yeah, we got to get Trap. I don't even know if everybody see Trap. Oh, Trapper is in here right now watching. Heck yeah. If the value goes up, it's going to be harder for them to control. They're going to try and keep it like this. Tan, I agree, dude. I agree. They, I don't think that they want the value of these cryptos to go up, but we do. 
And that's why we buy. My YouTube channel is just simple like that. I'm nervous about my first one. Trust me, as I get more comfortable, I will impress. Shredder. And you will become more comfortable with time, my friend. It's all but guaranteed. Yes to you. Yes to everybody. Binance have too much control over Luna Classic. That might be impossible. They're trying to make as much money as they can with it. Oh, if the value goes up, it's going to be harder for them to control. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That, I missed the, the previous chat there. Clever, are people getting paid to talk about buying crow coin? Ape now. You will be a millionaire. Your thoughts and not financial advice. Interesting. PS5. So, I, I know for sure anybody that's getting views on YouTube would be getting ad revenue. But as far as crypto.com paying them to talk about crow coin i do not know um it's not an impossibility because i've seen uh you know there's a ton of commercials crow does a, a, a ton of commercials so it's not an impossibility but if you see like if they're posting a video on on youtube or even twitter or anything if it is sponsored so if they're being sponsored by crypto.com to to talk about crow, I mean they're they're required to put that uh gosh sponsor. So they either gotta like hashtag ad, they gotta click that button that says this video is a, a paid sponsorship or this is a paid video or something like that at the top of the thing on YouTube. So if they're I mean if they are getting paid and they're not saying that it's technically illegal to do but so it's not impossible to do you can just not click the button but uh, that's one way to determine if they're getting paid like if it's a sponsored video then you know then it's pretty easy to tell yeah that's just my understanding that's just my no no tan mama for real man don't really know much no I don't know somebody else was talking about Binance having a really large Luna wallet except they were talking about Luna 2.0 today with Binance having a very large Luna 2.0 wallet so I imagine that Binance does own a lot but remember Binance isn't necessarily controlling the coin with their wallets they they have that so people can trade on their platform and and they make money when people trade back and forth and the more often they trade the more money they make it's not that they're necessarily controlling the coin there Anything on Shiba or Luke Caesar? Literally nothing on Shiba, man. Uh, Milkshake was talking a little bit today, but we got no news from any of the developers. I believe Wellies is supposed to be doing their reveal if they have not already done their their NFT reveal. But as far as like Shiba Inu coin ecosystem news, we got nothing. It is bouncing back slightly right now. It's up about a percent and a half or two percent over the last couple of hours. But other than that, man, no, we're not getting a, we're not getting a ton of action in either direction. Bitcoin kind of sitting stagnant in the 20,600 20, level. Uh, we've just been sitting here watching the stock market move a little bit as we go into this long weekend. Remember, guys, I'm not going to be here on Monday. The market is going to be closed on Monday. So enjoy it. I believe Paul Wright is going to be going live Monday morning. If anybody else wants to go live on Monday, you know, get it out in the chat. Absolutely support the bros, all that good stuff. But Paul, live Monday morning, 11 p.m. Eastern time. Everyone subscribe to Pudgy13 on YouTube. Heck yeah, man. Get that dude enough subscribers that he can go live there. I need 38 more. Dude's already rolling, man. Go subscribe to Pudgy if you guys want to support the channel. Dang, my cup calls won't let me send. Oh, my credit card won't let me send let anyone or let me send any more super chats. Paul, it's all right, dude. It's all right. Blame it on the credit card. I know. I know. You always got to blame. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding with you, Paul. Subscribe to Pudgy. Do they have, but they do have a trillion, right? I actually don't know how much they hold. I don't know how many coins they hold. Probably do. They're sitting on 90 trillion Shiba Inu coins, so it wouldn't be nothing for them to be holding a trillion uh, Luna Classic. So wait, why did Wellies burn the unsold NFTs? To create scarcity? Yeah, Remy. I think that they did that one in order to create scarcity and, and a little bit more value for the people that did want to buy. I also think that, you know, it's a decision to make. You can either let the public sale go on and, and be very similar to the, the Metaverse project for Shiba Inu coin. Sales are going to drastically slow down. And they understand that this bear market we're in right now, there's probably not going to be a ton of demand. 
and therefore they may not see a, a ton of people coming in and trying to buy. And then of course you got to worry about if demand does fade, then you're going to hit OpenSea and you can just buy one of the NFTs on OpenSea for potentially less than the, the mint price. And, and that would be very harmful to minting any more NFTs. They probably wouldn't want to do it anyway. So I think they were trying to look out for, for the people who do purchase or did purchase those NFTs and just burn the rest. JJ, man. Thank you for the super chat. JJ says, have a good weekend and holiday. See you on Tuesday. Boom, baby. Hard like a diamond. You know what time it is, JJ. JJ stays hard like a diamond all weekend long. But I'm going to buy more Bitcoin and Ethereum during the dip. Yes, Keith, I do plan on adding to a very diverse um, a very ver diverse cryptocurrency wallet and portfolio during the dip, man. It's not just going to be Bitcoin. It's not just going to be Ethereum. I will be holding a lot of the top coins and, and spreading my assets out among them. But, guys, it is 5 o'clock, man. Thank you very much for having a wonderful live stream, enjoying it, keeping it positive, all of that good stuff. We got a long weekend ahead of us. I don't know if you got work off Monday, but the market is closed on Monday. So we will be returning with the live streams on Tuesday. Of course, we're going to have videos every single day. So make sure to check the videos, watch them, like them, subscribe, all that good stuff that you guys always hear all day long. But let's do some shout outs and then we're going to enjoy the, the weekend we got ahead of us. Crypto Rocketeer. Boom, baby dabbing on him as always. AMC Trapper says, peace out to the Diamond Handed Apes and the Sheba Army. Tim Hogan, see you later. Sam Demand, number two. I don't know if Juana is in here. Juana, are you in the chat right now? I have not seen you at all in the chat. Juana, adios. I hope that you have a great weekend. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to say that in Spanish. I don't know how to say it in Spanish, sorry. But Juana, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy it. Uh, Tim, shout out to you. Sam DeMan, Shredder, Roulette Wheel, Remy, Crypto Racketeer, Franco, see you later, Space A, Paul Wright, see you guys later, AMC, Trapper, Shredder, Remy, Brent, Holly, see you later, Lucky Dots, Chuck Garland, Spider Claude, Pika Power, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Pika Power, enjoy your weekend. Joyce, Mella Mama, Zico, PS5, Remy, Tim Hogan, Paul Wright, Shredder, Pudgy, see you later, man. Shredder, Tobias, uh, thank you for being in here, man. Yoel Ramirez, see you later. Enjoy your weekend. Shred a life of a nobleman. Paul, DD214, Caesar, stay safe. Absolutely wish you and Juana the best. Caesar, man, enjoy your weekend. Bueno weekend, yes. Listen to Crypto Records here. Juana, I hope you have a bueno weekend. Did he do that? See you later, man. Peak of Bauer, you guys are awesome. Uh, I think you guys know what time it is. Tim Hogan, Jack Bordens, it's gonna moon. Everything's gonna moon, man. Jay, uh, Jay James, see you later as well. You guys know what time it is. So if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Till the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.